we're up here in Baton Rouge. Came out here to see the state capitol and the USS Kidd. Let's go check that out. In Baton Rouge is the Veterans Memorial Museum, and there's a lot in there to see, but we came to see the USS Kidd, which is on the Mississippi River. The ship is named after Rear Admiral Isaac Campbell Kidd Sr., who was killed aboard his ship, the USS Arizona, which was attacked at Pearl Harbor. Admiral Kidd was awarded many medals, including the Congressional Medal of Honor. Look at that, that's the Congressional Medal of Honor. You don't see that every day. Launched in February of 1943, along with three other destroyers, the widow of Kidd served as the ship's sponsor, christening the ship and presenting her crew with a guest book which she wrote, May the destiny of the USS Kidd be glorious. May her victories be triumphant and conclusive. On April 11, 1945, the USS Kidd suffered her most severe damage of the war. A kamikaze pilot flew his plane into the boiler room of the ship, and the bomb carried by the plane catapulted through the ship and detonated seconds later. It killed 38 men and injured 55 others. These are actual pieces from the plane that hit the USS Kidd. There's a piece of the fuselage right there. I've even heard stories that they never did find the pilot's head. These are aluminum rivets from the ship's hull that were surgically removed from the ship's doctor, Brooks Garrett. It says one of the rivets even contains part of his uniform still. Wow. And so outside is the ship that we actually get to go on. We just have to walk down this walkway that is lined with American flags. That's pretty cool. You think we'll sink? No. I don't think we'll sink. We'll be fine. I'll be <laughs> it's a pretty intense feeling being on board this ship, knowing the history of it. Look, depth charges. <laughs> They're not live anymore, baby. DJ, what do you think so far? <laughs> it's not live. Look, go up on it. Pretend like you're shooting it. Where I shoot? Here, let me show you. Yep. Spring, spring, spring. Turn Bam. it. Turn it. <laughs> Bam. Bang, bang. <laughs> okay, with supply office, sick bay, and emergency radio. Oh. What is that, sick bay? Oh, bay. Yeah, okay. That's what mommy would be. Mom was like, I want to go in. <laughs> Radio room, look, type, look, little typewriters. Picture of Marilyn Monroe. So I think this is where the ship's doctor that was hit with those rivets would be. Brooks Garrett was probably in this room, maybe taking care of somebody when he got hit by those rivets when the kamikaze plane hit the ship. That's pretty incredible. Very tight quarters in these things. Watch your head, you don't want to whack your head on something or trip. You hear the beeping? Yeah. So this is the emergency radio room. So this is where they would signal for help. That's Morse code. What y'all see in the water? That was right there, and the current is so fast, it moved all over there oh, already. Yeah, the current is fast in this thing. But I feel like if we would have fallen right here, it would, we would have caught on to that. 
What, the following right here? Stop. This is one of my biggest fears. What? You know, boats. Yeah, yeah but it's not really floating. I know. It's not floating. It's it's on it's a docked. platform. No, it's not even that it's docked. It's literally on a platform. Mm. It can't float on its own. That's why it's not rocking while we're on it. So this is the engine room. Down there. Down that ladder, which you can't really see. Go down there. I know, I'd like to go down there too, huh? Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. And what's in that room? The laundry room. The laundry room? How do you know that? Because I see clothes and... You see clothes and a washer and a dryer? Yeah. Look how big those things are, huh? Gross. You can see the navy uniforms. Look. Look in there, you can see the the, the naval jackets and shirts and stuff hanging. It, this could be a gift shop. Like, this little area could be a gift shop where you can buy shirts and stuff. Yeah, that'd be cool. The mess hall, the galley. No, this is the kitchen, probably. It's called a galley. It's the same thing. And a wasp probably. over there. What's over there? A wasp. Oh, he's not gonna bother you. Well, he's where? Us, so we're gonna... where? Where? So this is where they cooked all the food for everybody. Um, What's in here? Look, come check out this little room, guys. I did. Did you? I did. See up a little, a little window there. What do you think so far, Deej? I know I keep asking me that, but it's pretty neat, isn't it? I'm gonna cook you. You're gonna cook me something? What you gonna cook me? Or are you gonna cook me? Oh. We are now in the bowels of the ship. We didn't. You can go in there. Go on in there. Tight quarters. Yep. Go climb in one of the beds. Yeah. Okay, I don't think we can. Yes, you can. Let me go on a tight one. Get on one of the top ones. Yeah, let's get on the top one. How do we get on one? Yeah, all, all the time. This is cool. Yeah. I don't know if I want... <laughs> Climb up there. Pull yourself up. I can't, but this thing is... Kelsey, there. push his butt. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared going up here. Go up there. There's nothing to be scared of. It's a bunk bed. It's not going anywhere. Don't, yeah. be so, don't be so afraid to try stuff out, man. Experience it. Do it. Did it. Pretty cool, huh? So this is where everybody slept. Kind of cramped, but it's surprisingly comfortable. <laughs> Kelsey, what do you think? Oh, um, I like it. Is it comfy? Yeah. Bye. I just imagine this whole room full of people all sleeping in here at the same time. Well, it might not be all at the same time because they were probably in different shifts, I would guess. But still, I mean, could you imagine at least like 10 people just sitting in here, trying to sleep, snoring? Getting in, getting in wasn't so bad. Getting out was kind of tough. Ow. Oh, Go down here, but don't trip. Uh oh, I tripped. Oh. All right, y'all ready going up there? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Well, we gotta get out some kind of way. So here's the radio room. hear that Morse code again. You can see just how cramped it is up in here. Like, you walk through this, and this is the door. You go in this door right here, into the radio room. Or, go in this door, and this map room. Must be a map room of some kind, I guess. Torpedoes. Fire! You do the chapel. This is how they shot the planes down. You do the chapel. Oh, 
They'd aim through this site right here. Come on, use them muscles. What muscles? <laughs> Y'all are still moving that thing, huh? Oh, it's gonna, hit me. it's gonna hit me in the head. <laughs> Dad, this is like a free merry-go-round. <laughs> it's like a free merry-go-round? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. And I think, DJ, yeah. this might be the captain's quarters right here. Is it? Yep, Captain Roby. Hold on. So there's a lot of wasps around. They like all this old stuff. And this is the bridge where they would steer the ship. That's why the captain's quarters are so close. It's right behind here. This is pretty cool. Pretty cool, huh? Can you imagine living on this? So they're having a memorial service that started at 1.55 p.m., which is the exact time the attack began on April 11, 1945. On this day 72 years ago, the ship was on the coast of Okinawa. The USS Kidd and her squadron had fought off three aerial raids, but a fourth raid resulted in the ship being struck by a lone suicide plane. This is the original flag that flew on the USS Kidd in Okinawa when it was attacked. And there are several men standing in front saluting this flag. They are some of the last remaining survivors from this ship during that attack. This is the battle scarred flag that flew aboard the ship off of Okinawa during the attack. A man by the name of Christopher Britton, who is the son of Lieutenant Burdick H. Britton, the ship's executive officer who survived the attack, has returned the flag to this ship after 72 years. It's incredible. Well, that was pretty cool. We got to see the USS Kidd. 
on the anniversary that it was attacked. How about that? And they had a, a service, a memorial for the people that died in that attack. 38 people died. It's a lot. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Check out some of my other videos too while you're at it. What do you Bye. say?